about and I want to do a presentation on how do we save our planet seriously how do we save our planet because if you've done any research you know that we're in dire situation and there is only one planet that we have and there's only a fine out number of resources and the bottom line is we're using a lot more of the planet than that that's out there and what basically what we're doing is we're we're it's unsustainable and we're basically burning the planet that's for our children that uh you know is not going to be there for them so the question everyone needs to be thinking is how do we save our planet and it's obsessed me since 2001 when I started Eduit where I thought education would save our planet you know in many respects we're like a snake eating itself you know we got climate change raising sea levels deforestation depletion of our fisheries we've got you know water contamination most people don't realize that only 0.07 percent of the fresh water is available to us most of its out of reach you know we in most recently you've heard of the collapse of bees which are unsustainably dying at a 30 percent rate annual rate so again how do we save our planet I'm asking you it needs to be on everyone's mind now the first thing we have to realize is who's responsible and I believe it's the corporation corporations are directly and indirectly responsible for every crisis facing you can't tell me a crisis that they're not responsible for right they're responsible and fact is if we can transform the corporation and change their greed and their destructive nature then we can save our planet because until we do that there is no hope we're doomed it's that simple so understanding that the corporation is a product of the industrial revolution it's selfish it cares only about money it benefits the few stakeholders what I call the one percent it spent billions of dollars removing barriers by higher um, buying politicians lobbying campaigning changing the government getting people in you know who they want and ultimately if you look at a corporation it's very much like the triangle on our dollar the top one percent of the CEOs the key investors the trustees the employees are pretty much part of the 99 percent they're just indentured servants and the rest of us really don't matter we're just a product so save our planet there is one way that we can and corporations are collectively destroying it so how do we transform the corporation and save our planet that is the question how do we change the corporation well how do we save our planet well another way to look at this is the one percent from the one percent who are destroying it we can look at the corporation as a, as a problem but then you have to look at who controls the co corporation it's the one percent right so now we know okay it's the one percent out there who are greed driven for causing all the problems so before I tell you we need to basically look at how corporations are started it's really that simple so how are corporations started well they've all started with an idea no matter what it was software um, you know oil whatever it was an idea and what happened was these ideas go to people with money the one percent the one that have you know also known as you know um, accredited investors these guys put capital because launching a startup is very expensive and um, you know they launch what people don't realize is is less than 0.25 percent of ideas become seed startups so a seed startup well let's talk about the startup there are three stages to the startup there's the seed that means it launches you get credit investors you get money and you can launch right um, I look at a seed investors basically you have accredited investors or your startup is making over a hundred thousand either in profits or in an, or, or it has investments then there's the seeded the seed is when the VCs come in and um, that's a lot of times after is the IPO okay but the seed is the VC stage and most startups okay are at the pre-seed all this innovation is there and you have to consider what if the corporation wasn't selfish but was selfless was transparent was carbon negative reinvested up to 80 percent of their net profits in helping to launch more businesses like themselves right and and also took into account the greater stakeholders you and me the 99 percent how would they be involved okay well 
the problem is why would greedy 1% support this? Because ultimately it, it takes away all of the fun, right? They want to rape and pillage, and this is not about rape and pillage. This is about being good stewards. So ultimately, the problem is, is how do we get all these great ideas funded, right? And again, you have to realize 99.97 .97 fail, become seeded. And the reason is, is because the 1% is controlled, or funding gatekeepers, they control everything. You've got Founders Institute, AngelPad, Y Combinator, Techstars. These are all the 1% they're controlling the startup. So in order to save our planet, we have to remove the gatekeepers from the process. It's really that simple, right? So that means shattering the choke point. So how do we do that? Well, it's simple. We replace the startup with the found up. And now you go, okay, Mike, okay, I'm, I'm following you. What is a found up? Well, found ups, let me tell you what they are. They're very easy. They're fun. Anyone can do them from the age of 16 to 80. They're riskless. There is no risk involved with doing them. And they, co they cost nothing but a little time. That's it. If you believe in your product, you're going to give time, right? And here's the thing. Anyone can do it. And they're going to happen on foundups.com and play foundups app. It's that simple. So how will foundups save the planet, you're probably wondering. Well, simple, okay? Because all of a sudden, anyone, remember the hourglass has been shattered, so anyone can launch that innovation. I mean, think about, you know, when solar panels have been, have been around. They've been around a long time. The electric car was brought in 1990, and the car industry killed it, right? The lobbyists, um, because uh, I don't know if you who killed the electric car, great video for you to watch. We launched carbon negative corporations. All foundups are mandated to be carbon negative. So it means every corporation we take, we're taking carbon out. There's a number of ways we can do that, which I'm not going to go into now. They're also selfless. And they put the 99% first, not the 1%. And by launching foundups, okay, they reinvest 80% of their net profits, launching more foundups on foundups.com and play foundups. So what you have is a snowball effect, right, sp spinning out. So within 10 years, I estimate, I would, if we would, the moment we launch foundups within 10 years, we're going to have more selfless corps that I call open corps than the current selfish corps that I call closed corps. They're closed, right? So ultimately, you're probably asking, well, then you still haven't answered the question, what's a found up? Well, it's really simple. A found up is a found with an idea to improve the world using the open innovation framework, OIF, which I invented, okay? And you say, well, Mike, well, what's OIF? What's the open innovation framework? Well, it's it's a schema. It's a software as a service solution that does all the heavy lifting for you. It does the validation. So you're, here's the IP, which is the most important part of any idea. It, it, it builds the team globally, any place, anywhere. Your team is not located in one location. It funds, right? It funds automatically your idea. And not only that, it launches your found ups, right? on foundups.com and play foundups app. So that is what I've been trying for the last four years and I'm lacking some funds. So if you are someone with access to funds, because funds, funding networks, maybe you're a 1% that's disillusioned and see what I see with what's going on in the world and you want to help out. Well, if you are, contact me. If you have access to funds, if you're a developer, if you're a coder, if you know HTML5, if you're, you know, um, and you want to help out to get this built, I've got 20 million shares that I from FoundUps Corp that I'm willing to give out for folks to help me get this going. Thanks a lot. My name is Michael Trout, and I appreciate you listening.